स्टूडियो आल पार्टिसिपेंट ओपन आवर स्टूडियो एंड इम्पोर्ट फाइकस फाइल एंड टाइप डन विद इन जूम चैट These are participant type done so that I can move to next step. Import ficus file. Okay, thank you. Uh, in our previous classes, uh, we have learned how to read and how to write a script and how to edit a script. We have done up to some correlation plots. We have learned reading writing and editing by using four packages read excel ggplot spike ggplot2 psych and core plot. Now to into the class we will learn how to generate a script. We are not going to learn any type of analysis, any type of analysis in today class. We will just learn how to generate a code by using AI tools on your own data set for your for your data set for example you have a ficus data set no uh, first please all participants confirm me are you familiar with chat gpt and are using chat gpt for some other purposes, not only for uh, data analysis, you may be used for uh, paragraph writing, application writing, or any other types. You are, if you are using ChatGPT for any purpose, type yes. If no, type no. I need response from all participants. If you are using ChatGPT. Type yes. If you are not familiar with ChatGPT and still not used it for any task, type no within Zoom chat. Okay. Uh, the answer of maximum participant is yes. So it's mean all participants are already using uh, ChatGPT for any task. Okay. When you want to seek help from ChatGPT on your own file, for example, <clears throat> now we have a ficus data set. 
if you have your own data set you can also use your own data set instead of ficus 5 but uh, in class you will practice on ficus after class you may try on your data set so <clears throat> First, you need to STR of your data set. When you want to uh, use chat GPT for data analysis in R, you need STR of your data set. Take STR, uh, uh, type STR. STR means structure of your data, grammar of your data, statistical grammar of data set. I will show you an example. Uh, type STR. It will give you a function, select first one, and uh, within brackets, <clears throat> type your file name. <clears throat> uh, type file name. Now we have a ficus file. So I'm typing here ficus. When you will work on your original file, you can use the name of your original file. And run this line. Click anywhere in this code and click on run button. When you press run button, it will show you a table I would show you a structure of your data in screen number two so here is the structure of your data set structure mean grammar of your data for example here is a sentence I am typing a script this is the sentence, but <clears throat> this sentence also have a grammar. For example, uh, if we uh, look at English grammar, I have different grammar. M is a helping verb. Typing is the main verb. Similar script is the object. <clears throat> I is the subject. So grammatically, these are different, but actually it is a sentence. Similarly, actually this is our data set, but this data set also have a grammar. For example, come on screen number two. Here is the result of your STR. So here you can see a sign, dollar sign. It indicate variable name dollar sign mean variable here is dollar sign mean variable name so variable name petal width variable name petal length variable name sepal width <coughs> variable name sepal length variable name species so we have five variables but the grammar of each variable is different. First one is numeric. <clears throat> Petal length is numeric, 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 and last one is CHR. CHR means correct. Here is the range. Uh, 1 to 150 observations in our data set. 1 to 150 observations. It means there is no missing values in our data set. So this is the structure of our data set. No. Uh, we are going to perform in our bar plot bar plot for multiple variables <clears throat> bar plot for multiple variables In our previous classes, we have created bar plot only uh, between two variables, petal length, petal width, sepal length, or sepal width. We have used only two variables. But in our real data set, we need more than two variables. So 
and today we will create bar graph bar plot for multiple variables <clears throat> all participant copy this copy select and right click it it will give you uh, button for copy after that you need to open chat gpt Open chat GPT and paste this STR or structure of your data in chat GPT <clears throat> and write a message uh, before STR here at the start of this line. I want to create bar plot in R for multiple <clears throat> variables full stop I want to create a bar graph <clears throat> in R for multiple variables please write this line i want to create a bar plot in r for multiple variables and send this message here is the button for send message click on this arrow sign <clears throat> it will send this message to chat gpt now here is the reply from chat gpt you will get a script just within a few seconds you can check it is a very lengthy script and you will get it uh, just within a few seconds so it is very very advanced and effective way for data analysis in R and Python now we need to first we need to read this script and then we will run all participant please generate script maybe some participant get a script in steps first step second step and third step don't worry you need to first run first step number one then you need to run step number two then you need to run step number three but maybe maximum participant have get a, a complete script a, a complete codes in a single script there are three steps four step first step is library second summarize convert summarize data to long format <coughs> and last one is creating plot so here are <coughs> here is the complete script for uh, bar graph copy the script copy this code open r and paste here no, first you need to uh, read uh, this line one by one. Okay, copy and paste in screen number one. If you have created script successfully, maybe your script is different from my script, but don't worry. Copy and paste in screen number one and type done within Zoom chat. I have done this step. So please all participant type done. <clears throat> Okay, now we have a script for 
bar multiple uh, uh, bar plots are multiple variables so here are the steps one by one you need to read here is the first step library it's mean we need to turn on this package deep layer second i need to turn on library tider third i need to do turn on ggplot2 so i need three packages for this analysis i need three packages for this analysis so run these step one by one first run this line and check its result in screen number two it's showing me attaching package deep layer the following object are masked from the package stat filter and lag so it is not an error <clears throat> it is showing us when we activate deep layer it will uh, off these two functions okay don't worry now run next line tider click on tider here is the tider is also uh, no working next is ggplot2 ggplot2 is also working okay now i have activated these uh, three packages now i need to move next step uh, please first off uh, first all participant understand the script and uh, then you will learn on your screen first watch this video carefully and uh, understand each and every word of this script now second step <clears throat> here is the heading of second script it is showing me summarize the data to calculate the mean for each variables grouped by species it's mean <clears throat> before creating a bar plot before creating a bar graph for multiple variables we need a, a mean of our data set so we have five variables total width we need the mean of this column we also mean of this column we also mean of this column and we also mean of this column but grouped by species because we have three group in species s1 s2 s3 so i need separate mean of uh, sample length for s1 i need separate separate mean for s2 for sample length similarly s3 <clears throat> for all variables so no i need to run this line uh, when i run this line it will give me the summary of ficus file so here is the mean data of our ficus file s1 mean value is s2 mean value is 1.326 uh, s3 mean value 2.026 so here is the mean value for all variables now i need to convert the summarized data to the long format so when you uh, want to perform uh, perform bar graph or other analysis for multiple variables you may need Uh, long format of your data set so first i want to show you the difference between wide form and long form of your data set uh, yes abdur uh, abdur rashid i will repeat don't worry just uh, understand the script and then i will give you time you will run the script and then i uh, will uh, resolve your issues and also repeat this process <clears throat> no here is convert the summarized data into the long form now here is the data set uh, what is the difference between wide form and long form so wide form and long form wide form if you have data set if in data set each variable each variable have separate column is known as wide form of data for example in our ficus data set petal width have separate column petal length have separate column sample width have separate column sample length have separate column and species have separate column but if all these are in single column not in separate column then data set is known as long form so here is the <clears throat> when i run this code 
it will show me the long form of data set. So here is the long form. You can check all variables name in single column. All variables names are in single columns. All species in a separate column and all values are in single column. So this form of uh, data is known as long form. And this form of data set is known as wide form. In wide form, each variable have separate column. While in long form, uh, all variables in single column. Okay, now when I run this next quote, <clears throat> it will give me plot for multiple variables, bar graph for multiple variable. So copy this plot, copy image, open group, open WhatsApp group, and share this plot within group. <coughs> and type done within chat. And don't worry, uh, today is your first day of chat GPT. So maybe you will get a different results. Uh, the, there is a reason behind these uh, results. You get different results. I have different results. Other participants have different results. Don't worry. You just need to create a generate script. The objective of today class, you will be able to generate. So focus on your objective. Objective of today class. You will be able to <clears throat> generate script on for any data. So you need to <clears throat> focus on your script. Script may be uh, uh, correct or incorrect, don't worry. Your plot may be different, don't worry. You just need to create a generate script. For example, a shake have sent a plot, its plot is different. Okay, now I want to uh, invite those participants which are facing issues or errors or have some questions. For example, Abdul Rashid has questions. Can you repeat how to write chat GPT? Yes, Abdul Rashid, please uh, share your screen one by one. I have allowed you for sharing screen. Please share your screen one by one. Uh, please share again. <clears throat> Abdul Rashid, please share your screen. Uh, don't worry, uh, I will resolve our issues. Uh, please uh, show me chat GPT. Show me your chat GPT. Please show your chat GPT. Also open your mic. Your chat GPT is not visible to me. I think you have shared only single screen. Please close the screen and share full screen again. <clears throat> you need to share entire screen. The first option, when you share screen. Yes, now your chat GPT is visible. So please write a message. Uh, I want to create, I want to create bar graph bar graph for bar graph plot bar graph in r bar graph for multiple variables bar graph for multiple variables in r
बार ग्राफ प्लेस करेक्ट स्पेलिंग ऑफ ग्राफ ओके सेंड दिस मैसेज टू चार जी पी Chat GPT have give you a different way to create uh, plots. So uh, come on your first script. Here is bar plot for categorical variables. Copy. Okay. Open R. Please show me your R. Your R is not visible. I think you have again shared only uh, chat GPT screen. Please close your screen. And when you share your screen, you need to <clears throat> click on entire screen so that your entire screen will be visible. Please close it and share it again. And click on entire screen, the first option with blue box. Yes. Okay, uh, select all and remove from all things from screen number one. <coughs> okay. So here is the line number. Uh, okay, first line show that install and load the ggplot2 if not uh, already done. If this code, uh, please wait. Line number 13, come on please, line number 13. Install and load ggplot2 if not already done. It's mean uh, this script, if required, this function will automatically decide if you have ggplot2, it does not work. If you don't have, then it will install. So run line number 14. <clears throat> you already have, but run line number 14. Okay, <clears throat> now run line number 15 for library. <clears throat> okay, now run, run line number 18. It is for uh, count for species, S1, S2, S3, but we don't need this plot. Come again on uh, your screen number, uh, your uh, chat GPT. Yes, scroll down, case two, Come. This, is, this was the first case, second, please come on case two, yes, bar plot for the mean of numeric variables by species, copy, open R, please here is the copy button, yes, and give some space for differentiation between uh, first and second code, okay. No, you you need to come on first line of this script. Say first line of second script. Please click on first line of second script. Please come on first line. Summarize the data. Here is the first line of your second script. You need a package deep layer. Please also scroll up this bar. Wait, wait, please scroll up. Yes, here is the line number 25 is the first line of second script. Okay, and do library. Turn on this package. Yes, your package is activated. Now run code for summary or mean. Okay, select and run. Okay, now you get a, a 
file or results in screen number three. Check summarized data. Here is a mean value of your data set. Now again, command script. And convert to long format for better plotting. Okay. Run this line. Yes, your file is converted into long format, but it's showing you error. Uh, could not find function pivot longer. Come, please check screen number two. <clears throat> when you have run line number 38, you get a message. It means you need library tider. First, you need to run line number 37. <clears throat> yes. Okay, now run next line. Now you get a data set in screen number three with name long underscore data. Please check, have you get data set? Okay. Now you are seeing one more thing in your script. You are getting uh, less than minus many times. For example, in line number 27, you have a sign less than minus, it's mean equal. This complete script equal to summarize data. So when this complete script name is summarize data. Similarly, in line number <clears throat> 38, you also have a less than minus sign, it's mean equal. So this complete script equal to long data. And you will, uh, R will generate a file with the name long data in screen number three. When you run this type of script, uh, you need also confirm you get a file, a long form <clears throat> in screen number three, you get a file summarized data in screen number three, and even each and every name or other analysis when you will work on it, you need to confirm when you run this code with less than minus sign, the result of this less than minus sign will also appear in screen number three. If not appeared, it means your code is not working properly. Okay, now you need to run next line. <clears throat> line number 42. Okay, you get a plot. Okay, <clears throat> now you need to come next step. Next uh, uh, script, open chat GPT. ChatGPT uh, have uh, give you uh, three different case, <clears throat> no, come on, case three, side by side comparison of all numeric variables, copy. <clears throat> okay, open R and give some space for differentiation and paste and run. Okay, next. Yes. Comparison of numerical variables by species. Okay, please uh, close your screen and copy this plot and share within group. And please next participant share your screen. Okay, and Dr. Amini, uh, ChatGPT gives you a sample script. Please come on line number one, script line number one of this script. So here is, it show you, you need uh, these three packages. And uh, you have run line number 16, ChatGPT have changed your data set. Okay. Uh, first run line number 12. <clears throat> it's working. Line number 13. 
it is not working please open your mic if possible hello okay yes please uh, hello. it is showing you <clears throat> uh, there is no package called tiger okay so it means you don't have this package so first you need to install this package click on install button yes tider install <clears throat> okay now you have installed tider successfully no as no again run line number 13 for library for activation Package title was built under our version. It's okay. Now run line number 14. Please run line number 14. Okay, <clears throat> it's working. Now here is sample data set. You don't need to run this line because it is not your data set. When chat GPT gives you this type of um, results, you don't need to run. No, here you need editing. You need to use three skills reading writing and editing so here you will use editing skill so we already have data set with name ficus in screen number three so yes. here is this is only for sample data set we don't need this sample data set so you need to uh, give name ficus you give name data to ficus come on line number 17 name is given to this data set name data here is the data data is the name of this data frame which is yes. dummy data frame which is sample data frame so please remove all from line number 23 23 yes okay uh, no no not data less uh, before less than minus okay before yes less Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Remove. Yes. No give. Okay. Ficus. Here uh, you can use two options. First, you can replace Ficus with data. First okay. option. You can also replace, uh, where is data, you can replace uh, data with ficus, but maybe data is written more, more times. Yes. So first option is uh, give your file name to data. Okay. Okay. Give your file name data so that uh, if, no, 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 don't you need to remove, uh, please, data is okay. No, okay. Give, oh, no, we are giving ficus yes. a new name data. No, the name of ficus will be data when you run this code line number 17. Okay. So can I run this? Yes. <clears throat> run. No, you can check in screen number three. You yes. have a create file data with same mm -hmm. observation and same variable and same data with ficus yeah. and data. Okay. No, okay. the new name of your ficus file is data. 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 No, here data mean ficus file. Okay. Okay, when yes. here data mean not ficus file. When here data mean sample file, which chat GPT give you. Okay. Okay, no run line number 19. It will convert okay. your data set into long format. <clears throat> Just click not select. Yes. You get a long format, okay. Yes. No next run code. Uh, Yes, you will get a plot. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sir. Okay. Next part, then, please. Please close your screen and allow to share next part, then. Doctor Emily, please close your screen.
Okay, next participant, if you are facing an issue, uh, you are allowed to share your screen. If you have done, all participants, please type done so that I can move to next step. Okay, and Dr. Sheikh, please let me know where is your issue. <clears throat> okay, you get uh, script in different steps. So please come on last line. <clears throat> when you get different codes, uh, you need to write a line to chat GPT, thanks. Please write a line to chat GPT, say thanks to chat GPT, type thanks. Uh, but I need, but I need all codes in single script. All code in single script. All codes in single script. Single script codes, script, not scripts. Okay. Send. No, here is a single script for all codes. You get a lot of type of uh, plots. Okay. Uh, copy. Copy code. Copy code. Open R. Please share your R screen. You have just shared only chat GPT. You need to share entire screen. Close and share uh, full screen. Now you again not shared full screen. Please first option is for full screen. With heading entire screen. Now again you have just shared our screen. Please when you share your screen, click on share. And the first box, first screen within blue box with heading screen and upper heading entire screen. Please Dr. Sheikh, click on share button you will get multiple screens. Again, you have shared on the single screen. Okay, uh, no issue. Uh, you need to come on last line. No, 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 no. Last line, last line, last line, not center. Come on last line. Uh, give multiple hashtags. Give a line with multiple hashtag. Add multiple hashtag. Yes, multiple. No, 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 hashtag. Just give give a line for ha of hashtag. No, no, please type hashtag uh, about 20 times. Yes. No, 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 no. Okay. No, not this way. I mean, no, no, in line number 52. Give multiple hashtag in line number 52. Yes. Click on shift button and three button. Yes, type again, 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 and again. Yes, good. Okay, it will differentiate between upper and lower scripts. Okay, bus. Okay, it's okay. Okay, no paste this uh, copied code here. Please paste copied code here. Yes. No, come on, first line of this code. Yes, this one, the first line of this code, line number 154. Okay, first two library, ggplot2. ggplot2. Please run it. 
next run it next next please run next line yes next you don't need to click anywhere just click on next button cursor automatically move to next code okay next 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 yes you will get lot of different types of plots chat gpt gives you uh, multiple scripts for creating a bar plot on your data set okay thank you uh, please if any other participant have issue share your screen if okay type done so that i can move to next step okay now i am giving you task i am sending a task uh, bar graph names Dif uh, different types of bar graph plot in r i am sending the name or list within your group so all participants please take str uh, copy uh, your file copy your uh, uh, your str data paste in chat gpt and uh, provide to chat gpt uh, i want to write i want to create this type of plot give you a type name to chat gpt it will give you script you just need to read understand and uh, run this script i am sending the list of bar plots which you can use uh, you can create different type of bar plots on data set so here is the list of names for example basic bar plot uh, grouped bar plot stacked bar plot 100% uh, stacked bar plot uh, bar plot with error bar, diverging bar plot, lollipop uh, chart, waterfall bar plot, dodge bar plot. So copy str and write a message to chat GPT. I want to create basic bar plot. It will give you script for basic bar plot. Then again, take str, provide to chat GPT and ask, I want to create stock bar plot. It will give script for stock bar plot. Uh, you need to run in R, it will give you uh, result of your stock bar plot. So similarly in this way, uh, you need to create all these plots uh, on your Ficus data set. You can also try these plots on your uh, original data set. Okay, thank you. And in our next class, we will uh, do more practice on uh, chat GPT and R. And we will learn what is the reason uh, why all participants are getting different codes, different scripts, or different results. Okay, thank you. Allah Hafiz.